Hello, and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fix-It. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a small uh, conceivable flash drive to reset your user account password. Now, keep in mind that as long as you have the file on this disk, anybody with the disk can access your account. So you want to be sure that you keep this in a safe location. In the event you forget your password, all you have to do is stick this back in the computer and reset your password to something else. So let's get started. Here we're looking at the desktop for Windows 7. Now in the event that you forget your password, uh, the safest thing to do is create a password reset disk. The first thing we need to do is insert your flash drive into the computer. Now here uh, I'm going to insert a one gigabyte flash drive and once it starts up you can see it's going to install the uh, device drivers and it's going to open up. Now we're, we can ignore it. We don't need it. Now to create the password reset disk all we need to do is go to start go to control panel and then I'm going to switch this to large icon so I can get all the uh, Things. Now, once you get your uh, large icons, it will show you all of your uh, options that you can choose in control panel. What we need is user account, which is right here. We'll click on that, and as you can see, it will bring up your account. Now, currently, I'm logged in as ES Repair. Now, up here, you'll see on the left hand side to create a password reset disk it'll be the second option from the top where you see the cur uh, my cursor pointing all you have to do is click this and it will bring up the forgotten password wizard click next Now, it wants to know where to save the information. Now, the flash drive that you use doesn't have to be very big because the file that Windows puts on there is only a record of what the password was. So you choose, I'm going to use my one gigabyte flash drive, which is drive F, and then choose next. Now, to do this, you need to know your current password which I will enter that now and then choose next now it'll say when it's complete and what it does is it creates a a, a file on the flash drive. Now the file can be anywhere. It don't necessarily have to be the flash drive. But considering how small these flash drives are getting, you can put them on your keychain. So just in case you forgot your user account password, the uh, flash drive will contain the file to allow you to reset it. Now once it's finished, click next and you'll come up to the window saying that it was completed and that uh, any previous disks that you created can no longer be used. Now we're, you can label the disk, now you can put it on uh, CD-ROMs, you can put it on DVDs, but you don't need a very large capacity device. Flash drives will work because this is all you'll need and I'll show you why. Uh, choose finish exit out. Now, let me open up the computer and go to my flash drive and you'll see right here 
where I have it highlighted, this is a file that contains the information to access your account. And that's all you need to have. Now, let's log out. Log off. Now, we're back at the login screen. Now, what happens, we'll click on the ES Repair, we'll type in a password, oh, and don't you just hate it, when you get the password, you can't remember what the password is, this comes up. Now, you choose OK. And it will bring you back to your logon. Now, if you notice, down here in the bottom, just below the password, is the reset password link. This is what I was referring to. You click on that. This is the welcome to the password reset wizard. And it will tell you that, you know, you forget the password for the user account. You know, you're unable to log on. Now, you had to recreate a password reset disk, which I just showed you for this to work. Now, be sure that your password reset disk is in the computer and plugged in to where you can have access to the file. And then you choose Next. Now, you have a drop-down list of all the places that you can connect to and it wants to know where the file is located. We'll choose the gigabyte flash drive that we used and then choose next. Now, it reads the disk and finds the file. So now it knows that you have the password required to access the account. Now, the program will not retrieve the password but it will allow you to reset the password. So you just reset the new password. And then you type it again to confirm the new password. Now you can choose a password hand if you want, something that would help you to remember. Uh, don't put the password as a password hint, but you can put something on here to help you remember what the password was. And then choose next. And now your password has been reset. And now you can log on. Now you do your new password. And now you're logged back onto Windows. Well, that concludes this video of ES Repair. I've shown you how to reset your user account using a simple flash drive or a flash memory device. And keep in mind that anybody that has this disk can access and reset your password. Now, you want to be sure that you keep this in a safe, secure location, so in the event that you forget your user account password, this will help you reset the password so you can log back onto your account. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Click on our channel name and you'll find plenty of more videos of do-it-yourself repairs and upgrades for computers. Thank you for watching.